New Orleans restaurants reopen. It's been anything but business as usual, and some are finding ways to transform themselves for the times. One restaurant group has made some big changes to their restaurants, and they say they're permanent. Ian McNulty, food writer for the Times Picayune, New Orleans advocate, is here to break it all down for us. Tell us more about this, Ian. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, you know, the question for all restaurants right now, how to get it back open and how to stay open for the long run, right? Everyone knows the economy is going to be very different and the restaurant business is going to be different, at least for the time being. Well, LeBlanc and Smith is a group that if you've not heard of them, you've probably heard of their restaurants. Cavan, Uptown, Sylvain in the French Quarter, Mobar, Longway Tavern. All of these restaurants reopened in late June with a new model that is designed not only to get them open, but to make them more sustainable and frankly, more equitable for their staff going forward. The way that they pulled this off is with a much smaller staff with somewhat reduced service, but with uh, the really good food and the evocative settings that these restaurants are known for in place. It's sort of a way of uh, stripping away uh, some of the things that get between your experience of the food and the setting and the restaurant's ability uh, to keep the lights on during challenging times, sure. right? So the first thing you do, you sit through the door, you may order your first course before you even sit down. There's gonna be fewer people working in the place, but guess what? They're all on salary. There's no front of the house, back of the house divide. Every one of these restaurants does a little bit of everything, including washing the dishes. Wow. So, yeah, it's a different way to approach staffing and operations for restaurants that still keeps that good New Orleans food and those evocative New Orleans settings front and center. And it means the workers also get health insurance. Health insurance and salaries, which these days, people going back to work in restaurants are a little worried. Yes, they may have their jobs, but how many people are dining out? Uh, how many people can the restaurant accommodate under limitations? If they're relying on tips, that could be a big hit. So this at least gives them a base salary uh, to sustain. And the long range view is if this works and things do come back to normal, those slow summer times that are such a, right. uh, a slog. Okay, for Ian, I have to let you go. Business. We'll be right back, guys.